Hello, happy Sunday. Uh, I have a box I'm going to open today from Kim. Her name's Kim Brian, right? Cool name. On uh, YouTube, she is uh, Cherry Lynn the Witch. I think that's what it is. Um, I have sliced it open, but I have not opened it up to see what it is, so we're going to do that right now. We shall see. I see a box in a box. There's a box in a box. Oh, it's a dream box! I love the dream box. There's stuff in the dream box. Let's put the lid right over here. There is a note which I will read uh, myself. And then there's little bags in here. Two Stacy. This is extra comfort pens. I always love a good pen. I always have way too many pens and I love it. I love pens and paper. I can't help it. Pens and paper. Okay, let's fold this back up. A little bag. Might use it for something else. You never know. Uh, the two sticky. It sounds like a candy of some sort. These are the Mike and Ike's, the Berry Blast. These are good. You said these before, didn't you? I think you said Berry Blast ones before. They are good. Very good. Very good. Next. Another one, it sounds like, uh... Another Mike and Ike? This is the Tropical Typhoon. She said these before too. These are good also. <gasps> so good. I still have some of my great Mike and Ikes. I, I, uh, I hoard them and eat them very sparingly. I have one full one in my cupboard yet. A full little uh, case of the little boxes. And I still have some down here. To Stacy Love Kim. What is this? A pad of paper to go with my pens. Oh, I love I love pads of paper. I use them too, man. I'm a note taker. Y'all know that. I am a big note taker. I'm gonna set them all right back here in this box. Put my hands. Sit over here with the lids. To the humper he's not here right now so I'm gonna open it for him but I'll, I'll put it back in here I think these are Werther's these are Werther's original I will show you how candies he will be in heaven he likes the hard ones I, I found that they also make soft chewy ones he doesn't like that because he has a partial and it pulls his um, teeth out I'll leave that wrapped up for him in here. And there's another one for the dad. I'm sure he will. This is another word. What kind is this? Apple fritter hard candy. Caramel apple filled hard candy. Never saw those kind before. These are by Werther's. I'll have to ask him how they are or steal one when he opens them. I'd never seen that brand, and I've looked for them a lot, because I've had to buy Werther's for him quite often. Uh, what is this? It's a, it's a mysterious black box. Oh, it's a wallet. Cool. It's a bifold. When I was younger, my dad was always kind of a trifold wallet when I was a kid. Now, he keeps all his, most of the stuff and a wallet in the kitchen and then it has a little tiny thing he takes with him and just takes a few things but he'll like that thank you so much put that back in his little bag so he can open it i'm bummed that he's not here and then this is to the humper also he got some hankies 
I used to buy handkerchiefs for our neighbor man when he was alive. You know, guys don't really use hankies anymore. Hankies is not a big thing anymore, but that is cool. 100% cotton. Cotton hankies. I used to get my neighbor man, like, the pretty, pretty hankies. I think he still had several boxes of hankies unopened when he passed away that I had gotten him as a kid throughout the years. Um... But he always had a hanky in his pocket. I never understood the hanky thing because I want to blow my nose and then throw it away. <laughs> so the, the thought of blowing my nose and then wadding it up and um, sticking it into my pocket never really appealed to me. I just don't get it. Uh... These are the treats I got at Costco. Oh, thank you very, very much for the package. It was really fun. And I'm sure I'll, when, sometime when I vlog and I'll have Dad to come in and say thank you also. Because he always he's always so touched when people send him stuff. And these are what I bought at Costco the other day that are really good. Dark chocolate covered mango. So good. First I just had dried mango in my basket. And then I saw those and I'm like, I'm switching. Because it just sounds better. <laughs> uh, today is a very um, non-doing day. I have gotten up, I've gotten showered, and I put on... Um, well, I have shorts on, which are sleep pants for me. I don't plan on going out anymore because it's like 90 degrees. And... Uh, I had originally planned on ordering, because Dad got up and he was going to leave to go, uh, oh, he's back, the powwow, is he back? I think he, oh, he just had to run in to get something. He's going with Delucci out to, um, the campground that Delucci's staying at does not fill up propane tanks, and they're out of gas, so they're going to another campground in town to go do that. But, um... I have totally lost my train of thought. No idea what I was just talking about. None whatsoever. Blanked out. And you're all are thinking you were just talking about, and I'm like, I know I was, but I can't remember, and I'm not going back to look. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Getting older, feeble mind goes, Zzz. it just farts. Oh, yeah, hot. Dad was going to go to the powwow too hot. See, I got back to it. Um, Delucci came up, and they sat outside and talked for a long time in the garage in the, in the shade drinking beer. And I watched some stuff on the television. And then um, Dad came in, and uh, I went in to go empty the bladder and came out. And Dad's like, I have something I need you to do. I'm like, what? He goes, Get on your phone, because he knows my phone's like my little computer. He goes, and look up the number for the one place to get gas for, and see if they, if someone can, can just come out there and get it filled up. And so I made the call, and now they're out to make, doing their errand. Because I guess Delucci has two 30-pound tanks on his camper, and he thought one was full when he, and he had one full and one empty one, and he figured one would be enough, and the other one was empty. <laughs> So, he's out of cooking gas. And then tomorrow's supposed to be another hot one. And then Tuesday, and then next from Wednesday for like four or five, six, seven days, something like that, it's going to be like in the 70s. One day, it's only going to get in the 60s, it's going to be in the 40s at night. Love it! I think next week our haunted house opens also that's down the road they had yesterday friday night i think they had a sneak preview for special people who had sneak preview tickets to come see it before it opens and this year they're having like two days where the guy who plays jason was did he play jason the hockey mask one that's jason right um, his last name is Voorhees. 
he'll be out there uh, for some meet and greets. Last year they had the guy, uh, one of the guys that played um, Mike Meyer. They try to get somebody out there every year special to to meet and greets. So now I'm gonna get this loaded. I'm gonna go I'll go comment on yesterday's video. And uh, I might read. I don't know. I did not sleep well last night because I had a headache. I did not go into a migraine, thank goodness. But it was just enough of a headache to drive me crazy all night long. And uh, I got up in the middle of the night and took some leave. And it just, uh, I didn't get comfortable until like 8 o'clock this morning. And then I passed out for a couple hours. The brain went all googly last night. I'm going to shut up now because it's 11 minutes long. Goodbye.